Our University of Oregon researchers have discovered a huge underground aquifer under the crest of the Cascades. Turns out there is a massive underground aquifer at the crest of the Central Oregon Cascades. University of Oregon scientists found the body of water this month, which is at least 81 cubic kilometers. Tucked within the wild beauty of the Pacific Northwest, the Cascade Mountains have always stood as a testament to Earth's volatile power, an ever-shifting spine of fire and stone sculpted by time. Their iconic silhouettes, shaped by explosive forces deep below the surface, have drawn the awe of scientists and adventurers for generations. But recent revelations suggest that the Cascades hold secrets even more ominous than previously imagined. Thanks to cutting-edge LiDAR technology deployed by the United States Geological Survey USGS, Researchers have uncovered a hidden force buried beneath the region, one far more disturbing than magma chambers or fault lines. The scans have peeled back the forested veil, revealing ancient scars and subterranean structures that hint at a dormant but potentially catastrophic threat. This isn't a routine volcanic update. What lies beneath may redefine what is understood about the dangers lurking in one of America's most geologically active corridors. Stretching across western Oregon, the Cascade Mountains present a breathtaking contrast of snow-draped summits and shadowed valleys, landforms molded over millions of years by the relentless grind of tectonic plates and the ascent of molten rock from the mantle. More than just peaks, the Cascades are a dynamic system a living, shifting chronicle of the planet's inner turmoil. Every ridge and crater echoes the drama of ancient upheavals, each eruption etching new stories into the land. Among the prominent figures in this volcanic arc is Mount Hood, Oregon's tallest peak, rising to 11,240 feet. Its elegant snow-covered cone belies a dangerous reality, it is an active stratovolcano with a Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI, of 3. Though quiet since its last eruption in the 1790s, it continues to emit sulfuric gases and thermal activity from hidden vents, a smoldering reminder of the fire still simmering below. Further south, the formidable Mount Jefferson stands at 10,495 feet, a serrated monument carved by glaciers and time. It too is a stratovolcano with a VEI of 3, officially dormant but far from forgotten. Its remote location has kept it shrouded in mystery, its slopes largely unexplored, its potential still uncertain. Commanding the central Oregon skyline are the three sisters north, middle, and south, each with a distinct volcanic legacy. The north sister, long extinct, now crumbles with age, her basalt flanks worn by centuries of erosion. The middle sister sleeps in dormancy, while the south sister remains geologically restless. With recent signs of uplift and seismic activity, it may yet awaken. This trio forms one of the most striking volcanic clusters in North America, a dramatic blend of rugged beauty and latent menace. Yet no volcano in the Cascades tells a more harrowing tale than Mount Mazama, known today as Crater Lake. Approximately 7,700 years ago, it experienced one of the most violent eruptions in North America's geologic record, an explosive VEI-7 event that collapsed the mountain's summit and formed the vast caldera now filled by a deep, impossibly blue lake. Crater Lake stands today as both a serene natural wonder and a chilling monument to the immense destructive force that shaped it. Rising from the rugged terrain of Oregon, Several remarkable volcanic peaks stand as enduring witnesses to the geologic drama of the Cascade Range. Among them is Newberry Volcano, a vast shield volcano distinguished by its broad lava fields and shimmering obsidian flows, testaments to its eruptive past with a volcanic explosivity index, VEI of 3. Nearby, Mount Bachelor, a relatively young stratovolcano, last showed volcanic activity roughly 8,000 years ago and now draws winter sports enthusiasts to its snow-covered slopes. Not far away, the deeply eroded remains of Broken Top reveal the jagged scars of a once powerful stratovolcano, its angular ridges etched by millennia of wind, ice, and fire. 
These mountains are not just landmarks. They are relics of a fiery history still etched into the earth. Their VEI ratings, typically ranging from 2 to 7 with most clustering between 3 and 4, suggest past eruptions capable of considerable local devastation. Yet, nestled within their formidable presence is a paradox, a striking beauty juxtaposed with latent volatility. They form a landscape sculpted by fire, where serenity masks the deep, restless forces within. For those who journey through the Oregon Cascades, the experience is one of reverence and curiosity. Each summit whispers ancient secrets, layered in ash and rock, about the planet's inner workings. Beneath the snow-cloaked peaks, the Earth continues to shift, breathe, and evolve, capable of both breathtaking creation and sudden upheaval. This region, forged in fire, remains alive with possibility. Its next eruption, silent or spectacular, will merely be another page in a story still unfolding. Yet perhaps the most astonishing revelation lies not in what rises above the surface, but what flows unseen below. Hidden beneath the central cascades is a vast subterranean aquifer, a colossal underground water reservoir nestled within volcanic rock. Research led by the University of Oregon in collaboration with geoscientists has uncovered an immense volume of water trapped within this mountain spine, approximately 81 cubic kilometers, nearly three times the capacity of Lake Mead and over half that of Lake Tahoe. This finding redefines the region's hydrological potential and offers a transformative view of its volcanic underpinnings. This natural aquifer, entombed within porous volcanic rock at the range's crest, functions like a massive elevated water tower. It not only stores vast quantities of fresh water, but also speaks to the profound geological complexity of the Cascade Arc. Experts suggest that this may be one of the largest aquifers of its kind, with the possibility of a broader network stretching throughout the Cascade Range. The implications extend beyond geology. They touch ecosystems, water management, and future resilience. The discovery arose from a broader study examining the geological evolution of the Cascades and how water interacts with their structure. As scientists trace the pathways of water through volcanic rock, they uncovered clues pointing to the crucial role water plays in volcanic behavior. This interplay between water and magma reveals just how interconnected these dynamic systems truly are. In the face of accelerating climate change, such findings carry profound urgency. Diminishing snowpacks, a critical source of aquifer recharge, and intensifying droughts threaten the region's future water security. This newly uncovered aquifer could become a vital buffer against these growing pressures. More than a scientific breakthrough, it is a reminder of nature's hidden reserves and the intricate balance that sustains life in the Pacific Northwest. The Cascade Range, shaped by fire and sustained by water, continues to shape not only the land, but the very future of those who dwell in its shadow. Scientists have unveiled a colossal underground water reservoir beneath the Cascade Mountains by reanalyzing data from geothermal drilling conducted in the 1980s and 1990s. These drilling efforts, initially aimed at assessing geothermal energy prospects, had reached deep into the Earth's crust recording temperature variations at multiple depths. Decades later, those very temperature logs became crucial in tracing how groundwater navigates the complex volcanic rock structures of the region. In typical geologic settings, temperatures rise consistently with depth. However, when groundwater infiltrates these formations, it cools the deeper rock layers, disrupting the expected thermal gradient. By identifying the precise depth, at which temperatures begin rising normally again, researchers could infer how far groundwater had penetrated and, in turn, estimate the scale of the aquifer. This method offered a rare glimpse into a subterranean system that had long remained out of reach, revealing a water reserve that far exceeds earlier surface-based assessments. Unlike conventional techniques that measure water output from springs or streams, this approach looked inward, into the very bones of the Earth, to uncover an immense aquifer. The conservative estimate places its volume at 81 cubic kilometers, 
a staggering figure made all the more impressive considering the limited design of the original drill holes, which were never meant for groundwater detection. These constraints suggest the actual volume could be significantly larger, pointing to an unseen reservoir of tremendous importance hidden within the Cascade's volcanic heart. Yet the implications stretch well beyond water security. The interaction between this underground reservoir and the region's volcanic systems adds a layer of complexity to the understanding of future eruptions. When groundwater encounters rising magma, it can rapidly turn to steam, generating immense pressure that leads to explosive volcanic activity. These eruptions have the power to reshape landscapes, disrupt air travel with ash clouds, and pose threats to nearby communities. Mapping the movement and volume of this water source offers vital clues about such hazards, potentially enhancing early warning systems. However, the aquifer's future hangs in a delicate balance. Its survival depends on the snowpack that recharges it each year, snow that is increasingly replaced by rain due to a warming climate. As the region experiences more rainfall and less snowfall, the ability of the aquifer to sustain itself diminishes. Less snowmelt seeps into the porous volcanic rock, weakening the system's replenishment cycle and threatening its long-term stability. This vast hidden aquifer is not just a silent reservoir, it is a living system, intricately tied to the forces of climate and geology. Its continued vitality is uncertain, caught between the shifting rhythms of the natural world and the accelerating pace of human-driven change. The presence of a water reservoir beneath an active volcano profoundly changes the potential behavior of that volcanic system. While water is typically associated with nourishment and renewal, its role within a volcanic environment is far more ominous. When trapped beneath the surface, especially in proximity to magma, water transforms into a powerful agent of destruction. The combination of intense heat, immense pressure, and volatile chemical reactions creates a scenario primed for violent eruptions. Once subterranean water encounters magma, it initiates a rapid and hazardous chain reaction. The extreme temperatures instantly vaporize the water, converting it into steam, a transition that multiplies its volume several fold. This sudden expansion generates overwhelming internal pressure, which can shatter the integrity of surrounding rock layers. The result is often a phreatomagmatic eruption, a type of volcanic explosion known for its ferocity. In such events, magma is pulverized into ash and pumice, while shockwaves rip through the air and ground, causing widespread devastation. The situation becomes even more volatile when considering the gases already dissolved in magma. Magma typically contains water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide, all of which contribute to its pressure as it ascends. The influx of water from a hidden aquifer not only adds volume but can also chemically react with the magma, producing additional gases like hydrogen and oxygen under intense heat. This escalation in pressure may exceed the strength of overlying rocks, triggering explosive eruptions capable of altering entire landscapes in moments. A clear contrast emerges when comparing volcanic systems with and without deep-seated water sources. Dry systems rely primarily on magma composition and internal gas content to determine eruptive force. Although capable of powerful eruptions, they generally behave more predictably. In contrast, the presence of subsurface water introduces a volatile element, an unpredictable catalyst that can intensify eruptions far beyond expectations. Some may speculate whether water might help cool the magma and suppress eruption potential. In practice, this is rarely the case. Rather than acting as a stabilizer, water typically vaporizes on contact with molten rock, releasing sudden bursts of steam and exacerbating instability. The chaotic, high-temperature environment of a volcano simply doesn't allow for the kind of slow, cooling interactions necessary to mitigate risk. Instead, water often becomes a trigger, one that can turn a restless volcano into an explosive force of nature. Throughout history, powerful volcanic eruptions have been intensified by the presence of water, revealing a volatile relationship between Earth's most elemental forces, 
The 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington stands as a chilling example where superheated groundwater helped fuel a devastating explosion. Even more catastrophic was the 1883 eruption of Krakatoa, magnified by seawater flooding the magma chamber, unleashing one of the most violent eruptions ever recorded. In 2022, the dramatic eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai further demonstrated how the fusion of seawater and magma could trigger an immense blast, sending shockwaves across the globe and altering atmospheric conditions on a planetary scale. The discovery of a subterranean water reservoir beneath an active volcano holds serious implications not only for geology but also for public safety and environmental stability. Such a revelation elevates the urgency of close monitoring and comprehensive risk management. Communities situated near these volcanic systems face heightened danger, not just from the potential explosive energy of an eruption, but also from its far-reaching consequences. Ash plumes darkening skies, pyroclastic flows destroying everything in their path, and long-term disruptions to ecosystems and air quality. This hidden interplay between magma and water demands a deeper scientific investigation. Technologies such as seismic tomography and thermal imaging have become indispensable for locating these concealed reservoirs and understanding their behavior. Meanwhile, well-developed early warning systems offer a crucial buffer, providing populations with the time necessary to respond and evacuate when an eruption becomes imminent. Decoding the complex relationship between volcanic systems and underground water sources is a key step toward minimizing loss of life and damage to infrastructure. The presence of water beneath a volcano serves as a stark testament to the interconnectedness of Earth's natural systems. Like, share, and subscribe to continue the journey through the planet's most fascinating and little-known phenomena. The story doesn't end here. There's always more waiting to be discovered.